Okay. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Are we the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible? Okay, we come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall and destruction of the wicked sinful kingdom called America, aka Babylon the Great, aka Egypt, aka Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and taught us this truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that have the full clip of earth pushing his word and our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, we're going to start out like we always do with the real children of Israel, okay? According to the Bible, Judah, so called Negro, Benjamin, so called Jamaican and West Indian, Levi, so called Haitian, Simeon, so called Dominican. Zebulon, the so-called Guatemalans, the Panamanian. Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Rican. Manasseh, the so-called Cuban. Gad, the so-called North American Indian tribes. Reuben, the so-called similar Indian tribes. Naphtali, the so-called indigenous people from Argentina to Chile. Asher, the so-called indigenous people to Colombia to Uruguay. And last but not least, Ishikar, the so-called Mexicans. Okay? If you see yourself on the sign according to the seed of your father, all right, turn back to your how about Shema of the war and because God and Jesus Christ before America is destroyed. Okay? And we're living in time that what? Hey man, this devil's really about to come down with great wrath, man. He has Maxine ready, okay? You know? And uh you see that over there in the UK, you know, hey brothers is gonna do the spirit of Yahweh by Shema the Apostle Tahar. He's gonna win into it that the brothers in the UK will be, will be the first ones to be tried, man. Okay. Uh, but like brothers went into earlier this week, man. Hey, man. Hey, when we're tempted, man, we gotta cleave unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai. We'll start off with that. The Barak too, you know. Because in the times that we're coming in, man, we will be tested by the Lord, man. Okay. To see if we are true servants of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Do we truly fear Him or not, man? Okay. You know. No, no. We start. We start verse one. Barak chapter two, verse one. My son, mm -hmm. if thou come and serve your how about him, y'all shot? That's right. Prepare thy soul for temptation. Mm -hmm. When you come to serve your how about Hashim, your shot, prepare thy soul, your spirit, okay, for temptation to be tested by the spiritual demon Satan, man. All right, because we live in a wicked society, all right, where there's temptation to do wickedness all over, and it's hard to be a righteous man, okay? It's very hard to, to, to not uh, give in to the, what, smoking weed. You know, committing adultery, okay? You know, all the things that this world promotes, man. Stealing, you know, being a liar, man, okay? You know, being a thug, a thot, a whore, man, okay? All these things are promoted in this kingdom. So what? When we come to serve Yahweh by Shema Shah, we must prepare our minds to be tempted, man, okay? And ultimate temptation is the hour of temptation when the RFID chip, all right, is made mandatory, which is the mark of the beast according to the scripture. Set thy heart aright. Set thy heart aright. The Hebrew word for heart is love, which means your mind. Man. Okay. So set thy heart aright. And what, bro? And constantly, constantly endure. And constantly endure. So set your heart aright, your mind aright through the scriptures by reading. You know, taking heed to the scriptures. You know, because how can you uh, uh, set your heart aright and cleanse your ways, man? All right. That's a, that's a, if you take heed to these scriptures. Matter of fact, I'll look for that real fast. Uh, read that one time, bro. You can break that uh, second verse down. This is uh, second. I mean, it's Ecclesiastes chapter two, verse two. Set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. All right, to set thy heart aright, and getting to, getting to the scriptures, to um, to put off the old man and put on the new man, which is the scriptures, and constantly endure. I mean, whatever you got to go through, you got to take it cheerfully. Yeah, how was I? Uh, he died for us. He put his. He suffered for us, so we gotta suffer in the same uh, aspect for the reward that he has for us. That's right. That's and right. It says, "And make not haste in the time of trouble." Which I mean, don't just 
if this is only like trouble hit you, don't be so hasty to move. Like take your time and like really like apply the wisdom from these scriptures to what you're going through. That's right, you know. Uh, I'm trying to look for uh, you know what scripture that is, you know, because of the Timothy Labor. I keep on, I keep on forgetting where it's at. I know it's in Psalm somewhere. Uh, how can a young man take his way? Well, if you can find that real fast, you know, because what? How you set your heart right is like what? Taking heed to the scriptures, man. Okay, you know, you know, uh, uh, changing your life according to the scriptures, man. So set that heart right and constantly do it. The brother beautifully broke down, man. You know, constant door, keep on fighting, man. You, know, you can't just give up because uh, you're tempted, man. Okay, you got to keep on fighting, you know, to, to be righteous, man. Okay, in, in this wicked society, man. You know, you found it, bro? Yeah. It's in Psalms, right? Yeah, yeah kind of, kind of. knew it was in Psalms. Psalms 119, verse 9. Yeah, kind of. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? Shall a young man cleanse his way, man? Okay. Where ain't shall a young man cleanse his way? I mean, clean up his act, all right, change his life. All right, by what, bro? By taking heed there unto, I mean, there too, according to thy word. By taking heed there unto, according to the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That's how a young man can cleanse his way, okay? A young man, woman, and child, okay? You know? That's how a man, woman, or child can cleanse their ways by what? By taking heed to the scriptures, man. To what the Bible tells you to do, man, okay? I talk to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners that look like the other heathen nations. But our Israelites, man, okay? That's how you uh, 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 set that heart right, man, all right? And you're saying constantly endure. Let's we'll go back to the, uh, the rock, bro. This is rock chapter 2, verse 2. Set thy heart right mm -hmm. and constantly endure. That's right. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Like the brother said earlier through the spirit, man, don't make uh, uh, unwise decisions quickly, man, okay? You know? Because a lot of our people in that time that they can't eat, time that they won't be able to find any clean water other than through the government, you know, they're going to what, make a very unwise decision, okay, you know, and to be unwise is to not have the fear of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, because we know according to Job 28 and 28, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, all right, that's how you're made wise, through the fear of Yahweh by Shemuel all right, Matt, can you get that, bro, um, Job 28 and 28, you know, because what? You know, don't make that unwise decision, man. Don't make haste in the time of trouble. And look, we're about to be in the time of trouble. Okay? You know? This is Job 28, 28. Mm -hmm. And unto man, he said, That's right. Behold, the fear of Yahweh, that is wisdom. See, the fear of the Lord is how you become wise, man. Okay? That is wisdom. That's the wisest thing you could possibly do on earth. So when you make a, 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 a decision in haste, okay? You know, you're making an unwise decision very quickly, all right? That shows that you truly don't fear the God of the Bible, all right? Like, we fear Yahweh by Shemar Shai. Lord's will in that time, we don't take this RFID chip or Maxine, man, okay? You know? The fear of Yahweh, that is wisdom. Uh -huh. And to depart from evil is understanding. To depart from evil is understanding, okay? What are you understanding? That if you don't depart from the evil, you will be destroyed. The scriptures talk about what? That the Lord knows all them that sin against him and deliver them unto death and destruction. Okay? Those are those that were going to make that hasteful uh, decision in these last days when they're tempted by the spiritual demon Satan. But what the scriptures say, what? Set that heart right. Get into the scriptures, man. You know, trust in the Lord, man. Okay? You know? When, you, when you're tested, what? Constantly fight, man. All right? Verse 3. Mm -hmm. Cleave unto him. Oh, cleave unto him. That's the point we want to get, man. These times. You know, like I said, through the spirit, you know, through uh, Apostle Tahar, in the, in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai said, what? The brothers in the UK are going to be tested first, man. You know? You know, those brothers over there, you know, of the hopeful elect, man. Okay? Hey, they're going to be tested, man. Okay? First, and then it's going to come over here to us, man. Okay? But guess what? Best believe those brothers are going to cleave unto Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man. All right? Cleave unto the Lord, man. All right? When you're tested, when you're uh, being a... Uh, 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 Persecuted, so to speak, man. Or if you're going through any hell, you gotta get closer unto the Lord, man. You know? Three, bro. This is rock three and three. Cleave unto him and depart not away. That's right. Cleave unto him and don't depart away. All right? Because that's where pride comes in. Because well, pride, according to the scriptures, one departed from his maker, man. You know? You think that you got it, that you had all the answers, man. Well, we don't, man. Okay? It says, 
that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. You know, that you be increased at thy last end, man. You know, when, uh, when everything is said and done. Yeah, when everything is said and done, that we can rely on your Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. Okay, you know, that's that's the one that, uh, uh that's what you want to be, man. You know, and that's how you be increased when you cleave unto the Lord. Now, I got this little definition of cleave, okay. It says cleave, uh, it says, uh, to a uh, part, to divide by force, uh, uh the one. I don't think that's that's the one. Yeah, we got. Esau be making new definitions of these words, man. Okay. Yeah, done. There we go. This is clean. It is a verb mm -hmm. to adhere firmly and closely. That's right. Or loyally. And unwaveringly. That's right. Hey, man, that's a perfect definition, man. Okay? You know, to cleave unto the Lord loyally mean what? You're down for the Lord, man. Okay? To get close to him. So when what? When temptation comes and this devil um, makes you try to turn, because when you take the RFID chip or take Maxine, you're really turning your back on the Lord, man. Okay? You know? So when that time comes, you know, the Lord's going to be a part of the elect that we're going to cleave unto the Lord. We're not going to turn our back. We're going to be more loyal. More loyal. Until you how about Shemiah Osha, man? Okay? Read, read more, that definition one more time, bro. This is clear. It's a verb. Mm -hmm. To adhere firmly and closely mm -hmm. or loyally and unwaveringly. He said unwavering. Showing that what? You have faith in the Lord, man. Okay? You you have faith that the Lord was going to get you out of that situation and that you don't fear man. Okay? And that's the time that we're coming into, man, that we got to trust in the Lord more and more, man. All right? The Lord hears our prayers, man. You know, you got to believe that, man, okay? You know, you got to firmly believe that Yahweh Bashim al Shai is listening to you when you pray, man. What do you think, Lord Yahweh Shai said, watch ye there and pray always, man? Because that prayer is an ultimate uh, sign of faith, man, okay? Praying to an entity you can't physically see, man, you know? But we believe that what? That he, he's actually doing works, man, okay? That he's working for our favor, man, okay? You know? So go back to the, uh, the uh, Sarat, bro. So... So rock three and three. Mm -hmm. Cleave unto him and depart not away. And depart not away. All right. Don't be prideful and think you can handle it. Cleave unto the Lord when you're going through troubles, man. Okay? All right. The Lord is the one that put it on you so he can take it off you. So cleave unto him. All right. Keep on reading. That thou mayest be increased at the last end. Mm -hmm. That you may be increased, especially in faith, man. All right. And be shown that what? The Lord truly was there for you. So what? Now your faith is increasing. All right. You know, you're more bold in the spirit of the Lord, man, because you know that the Lord's with you, man. Okay, and that's the time that we're coming to, man. The Lord's going to show that he's with his elect, man. The Lord's going to be part of the number. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. It said, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, man. Okay? Meaning what? Whatever state that you're in, no matter what state it is, okay, take cheerfully. Praise the Lord. Be thankful. Okay? Because the Lord didn't have to, uh, he could have killed you off, but he still has you alive. Be thankful until you howl by Shemuel shot, man. You hear me? And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Be patient, man, which goes into what suffering, all right? Just, you know, suffer through it, man. Because at the end, really, you know, in everything that we suffer, there's always a lesson to be learned, you know? You know, so when you howl by Shemuel shot, has you going through something, you know, sit back, patiently wait on the Lord to get you out of it and seek but the Lord wants you to learn from these things, man. Okay? You know? So that's what you need to do. All right? And these last days, is going to be tested. We're going to be tested ultimately if we truly believe in the God of the Bible. Yeah, all by Shemuel Shai. Now, I'm trying to find this, uh, find this, uh, scripture. You know, because we got to give thanks to the Lord at all times, no matter what situation that we're in. Okay? Uh, Sirach 2 and 4. For whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Be patient, man. You know, so what? Cleave unto Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Be patient. You know, hey, be thankful that the Lord even has you in this truth. Okay? Because the Lord didn't have to even bring you, man. So we got to be thankful to the Lord, man. You know? 
you know. So in in that Lord state, hey, keep on praising the Lord, man. You know, because hey, the Lord is still dealing with you, man. Even though you're in a might be in a hellish condition, you still have the knowledge of the Lord. And I got a couple of scriptures on this, you know, thanking the Lord. This is a uh, uh, this is the book of uh, Chronicles, First Chronicles, chapter sixteen, verse eight. It says, "Give thanks unto Yahweh, call upon His name." Make known his deeds among the people. Kind, that's what we do, man. We thank Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. All right? We give praise and we call upon his holy name, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. All right? Bahashim in the name, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son. He's the deliverer. He's the Savior, man. Okay? You know? We give him praise unto those names and make it known amongst the people. That's why when we start off, we give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. When we close, we give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. In between, all right? We're talking about Yahweh by Shema Shai. We let it be known his name got the four corners of the earth, man. Okay. It says, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go up. This is uh first chronicles 16, uh no slack it. Second Samuel 22 and 50. It says, Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh, by Shema Shai among the heathen, and I will sing praises of thy name. Kind of aren't we amongst the heathen right now? Right, we're amongst the nations in this place of America and throughout the four corners of the earth. But the elect of the nation of Israel is going to give praise unto the Lord's name in, in, the, uh, in their captivity, man, as the scriptures say, man. You know, so we're praising the Lord, even though we're in a low condition right now, we're still cleaving unto Yahweh Bashim Shai because the Lord is the one that can get us out of this predicament. The only one, you know? Yeah, be good, bro. Come on, Kyle. All right, keep reading, bro. So, uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. That's right. It said gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. Well, all right. So, what? That met the, uh, that analogy is what? The gold is the men, the acceptable men, all right? You know? And the, the hell that you're catching that adversity is the fire, man. Okay? You know? So, what? It said gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable man in a furnace of adversity. What we're made, uh, we're made purified into gold through the hell that we catch, man. That's why I said earlier in that scripture, what the what when you're brought to a low state, take it cheerfully because that's where the Lord is refining you, man. Okay, and these last days, look, the Lord is gonna, you know, we're gonna be in the lowest state and taking trouble, man. Okay, you know, we're gonna be, uh, uh, uh scripture says, pilgrims, you know, going, you know, uh, uh, monks who can't be staying in one place, ducking and dodging, you know. Trusting in the Lord, we're gonna be in a lower state, but at the same time, we gotta trust in the Lord, and that's gonna make us purify us more, man. Our faith is gonna be uh, built up more, all right. Our trust in the Lord is gonna be at an all-time high, all right. And that scripture say, "What in that day you shall know who am I chosen?" Okay, you are gonna know in that day if the Lord is working with you. Man. There's gonna be no doubt that the Al Bashim Al Shai is in your favor in that day. Man. All right? You had a brief Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, going in, um, what's the name, being in a lowest state yep. and whatnot. Yep. So, um, that, uh, Hebrews 12 and 6, for whom the Lord loveth, he chastened, and scourge of every son whom he received. That's right. That's why right now we're catching so much hell. You know? We're catching so much hell right now before Jacob's trouble because the Lord is showing the love towards us, man. Okay? You know, brothers uh, have little ailments, you know, uh, you know, body problems, you know, uh, you know, depending on the brother of woman problems, man, you know, different things, man, that we're going through. OK, you know, the Lord is refining us, man, showing that he loves us, man. OK, if you endure chastening, mm -hmm. the most high dealeth with you as with son, he receives you as a son. You know, he loves you. OK, you know, you're beloved, you're favored by the Lord and the Lord is chastising you. you know, the Lord doesn't chastise you. What she's not doing to these two thirds, they're living, you know, the most wicked life ever, and it seems like nothing's happening to them. That's why, because there's later judgment for them. They're not having that mercy, man. All right, brothers is going through things right now because in 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 the latter end, what mercy is gonna be shown unto us, man. Okay, you know, we're getting chastised now that we may be spared later, man. Okay, you know. For what son is so like it? For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Mm -hmm. But if ye be without chastisement, 
where whereof all are partakers, uh -huh. and ye are bastards and not sons. Showing the Lord that has no love for you, man. Okay, you're fatherless, man. Okay, you know. So with the Lord having us being um, put in a lower state, you know, and going through uh, different types of hell, it shows that what the Lord actually loves us. You know, if he, the Lord didn't do that to you, the Lord doesn't care about you, and that's the two thirds right now, man. The Lord doesn't care about the two thirds, so He's not chastising them for uh, you know doing so much wickedness right now. All right, He's gonna bring the final judgment upon them. The Lord, you know, is uh, cleaning us up, making us you know find gold. Lord's will be a part of the elect, man. You know, this is Rock chapter two verse five. For gold is tried in the fire, uh -huh. and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. He said, gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. We want to be those men, okay? Those high-value men, okay? Because gold is not just a regular metal. It's high value, okay? You know, we want to be found high value in the earth, man, okay? All right, high value in the eyes of the omnipotent power, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the all-powerful, the almighty, man, okay? Verse 6. Believe in him and he will yeah. Believe in him and he will help thee. Believe in him and he will help thee. You gotta believe, trust, faith in the Lord, man. Okay? You know, part of faith is praying, man. All right. You know, praying to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Hey Amen. Believe in him and he will help thee. In these last days, only the elect, all right, is gonna be believing in the Lord, man. All right, that's why Louis Yahweh said said shall so he find faith in the earth. Of course, the answer is yes, but the majority of the people, for, it, for the majority of the people, especially our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the answer is going to be no for them, but for the elect, yes. That's why the Lord is coming to help them, all right, coming to save them, you know, deliver them, all right, keep going. Order thy way of right. Again, so what? Trust in the Lord, he's going to help thee. Order thy way of right. Get into the scriptures, changing your life, repenting, which is the action, you know, change your life according to the scriptures, and what, bro? Trust in him. And trust in him. That trust, that faith again. All right? The Lord is re, um, repeating himself. Trust in him. He's going to help you. Order thy way of right. Get yourself right and trust in me. That's what the Lord is saying. Mm -hmm. He said, ye did fear Yahweh. Again, what? So not only did the trust. The Lord showing that, all right, you trust me. You believe in me. All right, but now do you fear me? You know I exist. But now do you fear me? Okay? All right? The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Okay? So the fear of the Lord, what, bro? Wait for his mercy. Wait for his mercy. All right, so those that fear upon Yahweh by Shemal Shai, mercy is going to be set upon them. So wait for the mercy. All right, come on. And go not aside, mm -hmm. lest ye fall. Go not aside, lest ye fall. So don't turn from the fear of the Lord, lest you fall, man. All right, because if you lose the fear of the Lord, that's when the pride kicks in. Okay? You know? You think you could do it all yourself? No, we need the Lord in these times, man. And it's about to get very gruesome out here. Ye that fear Yahweh, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Okay? You know? I mean, what? If you believe in Yahweh, Shai, you're doing the works, doing everything that the Lord commanded you to do, your reward is not going to fail. The Lord is not a liar. He says he's going to give you a reward. He doesn't forget your work and labor or love, man. Okay? The Lord sees everything that we're doing towards his name. Whether, you know, you might not feel like it that day or whatever, you still get up and do it. The Lord sees that in his marking that down like, all right cool you know he truly fears me you know and the lord you know uh has a delight in that man. all right can you read ye that fear yahweh hope for good you know those that fear yahweh by shemel shai see we have nothing to worry about Akim. we have nothing to worry about if you trust and believe in yahweh by shemel shai we fear the lord read that from the top one uh sirach two and nine mm -hmm. ye that fear yahweh uh-huh hope for good hope for good the word hope goes back to the word expectation, okay? All right? Have an expectation. So those that fear Yahweh Shemel Shai, expect, have an expectation to good, for good to come your way. Especially in these last days, when we're tempted by a spiritual demon Satan, we fear Yahweh Shemel Shai, we stick for the Lord. Expect good to come your way for sticking up and sticking with Yahweh Shemel Shai. Can you read me? And for... And for everlasting joy and mercy. Everlasting joy and mercy. You know? So that's what, upon those that fear you, how about Shemel Shai, that's the only ones that, the only ones that's going to receive that, man. Okay? You know? Now, uh, keep on reading, bro. Verse 10. You know, this is my favorite part right here, man. Verse 10. Look at the generations of old mm -hmm. and see that ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded. And the answer is no. He said, look at our 
ancient righteous forefathers, right? Look at King David, all the hell that he caught. People were trying to kill him. He trusted the Lord. Did the Lord ever embarrass him and have him caught out? No. Not, no. Scriptures say no. He, he lived. He lived to be an old man. Okay? Look at Elijah, Elisha, you know? Uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, all these men, these righteous forefathers, okay? They trusted in Yahweh by Shem al man. Okay? You know? And they weren't confounded. Well, bro. So. Or did any abide in his fear? All right. They are what? They all abided in the fear. They had the fear of the Lord on them. All right. And what? And was forsaken? Answer is no. And, you know, if you fear Yahweh by Shem al Shai, the Lord is not going to forsake you. And that's according to what? Psalms 34 and 7. The angels of the Lord encamp around them that fear him and deliver of him. Meaning what? The Lord didn't forsake you. He delivered you out of all your troubles, man. Okay? So, or whom did he ever despise? Uh huh. So like, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Answers no one, man. Okay? You know, we call upon the names of Yahweh Shema Shai, the Lord hears us. You know, brothers give testimonies when they call upon the name of the Lord. Stuff happens, man. The Lord doesn't despise a man that's believing and trusting in his, in his name, man. Okay? He loves that, man. Okay? So that's the Lord's will. That's what brothers are going to do all the way through the end, man. Keep on calling upon the names of the Yahweh Shem you know, for everything and all things, man. Okay? Because we trust in the Lord. We believe these names have power. Not only we, not only believe, we know these names have power, man. Okay? You know? For Yahweh is full of compassion that's and right. mercy. Full of compassion and mercy. All right? Long suffering. That's right. And very pitiful. And very pitiful. The Lord knows the case situation that we're in. The Lord has much mercy, man. Extended mercy, man. Okay? But only for the elect of the nation of Israel right now, man. Okay? And forgive of sins. And forgive of sins, but that's only to those that trust in him, fear him, and call upon his holy name, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That don't apply to everyone, man. All right? And we're to get why it doesn't apply to everyone, because two-thirds of our people are wicked and don't want to turn back, man. Okay? And save it in the time of affliction. And save it in the time of affliction, in the time of trouble. Okay? But what? That scripture doesn't apply to everyone. You know? The Lord is actually going to destroy two-thirds of our people, because why? They don't fear him. They don't trust him. They don't call upon his holy name. We would get that in Jeremiah 11, 11, bro. You know? Because Lord said he's going to bring evil upon them. He's not going to save them out of their trouble. You know? This is why we want to we want to be a part of the elect, man. The Lord's will we be a part of that number. We don't want to be a part of the two thirds club because this is what the Lord says He's going to do to them. You want to read that? Jeremiah eleven verse eleven. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, Behold, mm -hmm. I will bring evil upon them. I will bring evil upon them. Okay. Yahweh Bashem is saying, Look, I'm going to bring bad times because that's what evil means. Evil meaning time and ill meaning bad, man. Okay. The Lord's going to bring bad times upon two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Which they shall not be able to escape. Which they shall not be able to escape. So you can run, you can hide, but you won't escape the judgment of the Lord. You will not escape the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. This is the time that we're living in, man. We want to be found worthy to escape the death and destruction. We want the Lord to save us out of the time of, of, uh, of our troubles, okay? Out of, of our affliction. We want the Lord to forgive our sins. Lord hasn't forgiven two thirds of our people because our people haven't repented, man. You know they don't want to repent. And that, you know. And though they should cry unto me, uh -huh. I will not hearken unto them. Oh, they're gonna be like, oh, yeah, hey, uh, Ios mio, uh, Eslos Christos, uh, Santa, whatever God they believe in, man. They'll be crying unto that God, thinking it's the Heavenly Father to His only begotten Son. But guess what? The Lord's not even gonna hear you. All right. It even goes to those that even do call upon the name, but they don't trust. Fear the Lord, man. You gotta have all three of those attributes, man, for the Lord to protect you in that day. The trust in Yahweh Hashem outside, the fear of the Lord, and uh, to call upon His holy name, man. Okay, you know. It says, then shall the cities of Judah uh -huh. and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto their gods, uh -huh. unto whom they offer incense. Uh huh. You know, screaming them names, man. You know, when the scriptures that there's only one name under heaven where you could be saved, man. All right, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, right? But they shall not save them at all 
in the time of your trouble. Not at all in the time of trouble. Now, hold that really fast, bro. Hold that, that scene, that little uh, part. Not at all in the time of your trouble. We'll go back to the uh, Sirach 2 and uh, um, uh, 11. You know, that last part in 11 where it says, save out of trouble. You know, that shows you though, there's two sides of the coin, man. You know, this is the elect right here. Read that, brother. Sirach 2 and 11. And save it in the time of affliction. That's the elect, all right? But what's going to happen to the two thirds, bro? Flip back. <laughs> it says, uh, Jeremiah uh, 11 and 12. But they shall not, but they shall not save them at all. I mean, at all in the time of their trouble. And that's two different people, man. Two different types of individuals in Israel, man. You know, ones that call upon the names of Yahweh Shimon Shai, trust and fear him, all right? They're going to what? Be saved and battle their troubles. And the others, the two thirds, the guys that they call into, whether it be Santa Maria, Holly Selassie, the Hindu god of Shiva, Baphomet, uh, trying to call for their husband to come and save them, uh, Jesus Christos, okay? All these other false idols, they're going to call upon them, but guess what? Those idols are not going to save them at all in the time of their troubles, man. But those that call upon the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai, Scripture said, those that call upon the name of the Lord shall, meaning it will happen, shall be saved, man. Okay? You know? Verse 14, man. Therefore, pray not. Verse 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, uh -huh. neither lift up a cry for prayer for them. That's why right. he said, what? That's that's a commandment from the Lord. And that time that we're coming into, the Lord said, our people are catching so much hell. Don't cry. Don't pray. Cause you gotta have people come to. Oh, I know, I know you've been into the church uh, uh, or into the Bible. Can you send up a prayer for me? Pray for me and my kids. No, no. The answer is no, and that's because the Lord commanded us not to. Man, read that scripture one time, bro. Jeremiah eleven fourteen. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, mm -hmm. neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. He said, "Don't pray for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them." Okay, mm -hmm. for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me. So the Lord's not even going to hear them. So when they cry, so where are you crying for them, man? The Lord's not hearing them. The Lord's not going to help them. Why? Because they don't want to repent and turn back to Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. You know? You know, our people about to get a, a, a brunt force, full force of the Lord's anger, man. Okay? You know? That was on that one, bro? That was one? Yeah. It says, um. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. That's right. You know why? Because you didn't want to hearken unto these words, man. All right, can you get Isaiah real fast? Um, if you get Isaiah, um, chapter thirty-one, verse nine. Okay. Because our people are about to uh, suffer great death and destruction, man. Okay. It's about to be a horrible time out here for so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay. Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse nine. Behold. The day of Yahweh coming mm -hmm. cruel. That's right, coming cruel. Because we already just read that. What? Those, you know, when we're being tempted by the Lord, you know, by the by the spirit of demon Satan, it's really we're being tested by Yahweh Hashem to see if we're really down from. All right? Cleave unto him, and the Lord's going to, you know, protect us. You know? If we trust in him. All right? But we're going now, going to what? Those that don't trust in Yahweh Hashem al see if we say what? All the faithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You know? And the Lord's going to give you not just a death, but it's going to be a gruesome death, a cruel one. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Cruel mean inhumane. The Lord's gonna be chopping people up, <laughs> you know, uh, using you saw even so called white man you know, uses uh, uh, his uh, technology to melt our people. Like there's a lot of stuff, like sci-fi things that 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 we've seen in movies that happen to people. We're gonna see it out here, okay? And even worse, things that we can't even imagine, okay? This is how, this is how uh, wicked this devil is coming down, but it's all the wrath of the Lord, man. Right? You that too? Yeah, you're going to see the medieval thing, the guillotine and everything. Yep. 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 So you already see that, but you really going to see it. Yeah, you got, they got the firing squad, which is really not, nothing new. Uh, the firing squad really, um, Jake already getting shot down the street, so the firing squad ain't going to be doing nothing, you know? Stuff, but uh, uh, firing squad hangings are coming back, lynchings, man. Okay. Uh, yeah. Biological warfare. Yeah. Oh, gas. What? Poison gas and all that. Yeah, gas that. Once you inhale it, it melts everything on the inside, man. These are the things that this devil's coming down with, but it's really what the wrath 
and cruelness of the Lord to those that don't want to repent, man. Okay? To the wicked of our people, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it's life on it. This is uh, <clears throat> Isaiah 13 and 9. Mm -hmm. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, man. Okay? You know? The Lord's coming very, very cruel. Okay? Inhumane. All right? You know? The Lord's coming back <laughs> with a cruelty you've never seen before. Because who said what? The times will be like never seen on the earth. So the Lord's going to bring some, some, some new things, man, we've never seen before, man. Some new cruel acts, man. All right? Matter of fact, bro, um, um, you look at the word cruel on that, bro. You know? The entomology of it, man. All right? The Lord's really about to come, you know, harsh, man. Okay? Very, very harsh, man. Okay? And shalom to all the brothers out there that's watching the Abba Shimon Shabrakatah. Those, those of the elect and that's watching, the believers, you know, may the Lord bless you in your household, you know. You know, because they, man, hey, we don't want to be a part of this two-thirds club, man, because we're about to see the Lord's really about to get down on two-thirds, man. Right? Right, yeah, this is the etymology of the word cruel. Mm -hmm. Stern, mm -hmm. suffering, death. It says stern. Remember, we're dealing with what? A stern, austere power. Yahweh Bashim Shai is what? An off steer man. Okay? Alright? They're off steer. The Lord Yahweh Shai was on steer. He looked like a, he was an off steer man, a very serious individual. So, how much more the Heavenly Father, man? Alright, who gave all the power to Lord Yahweh Shai. He's doing everything the Father would do. And the Heavenly Father back in the ancient world, man, well, if you did one thing wrong and it drop it down, you drop dead. Drop dead completely, man. So, Lord Yahweh Shai is now bringing that same energy to the wicked. Of our people, man, he's gonna lay them flatline, man. People will be dropping dead because of crazy things, man. You know, attended by duress, mm -hmm. inclined or willing to make another suffer, inclining or willing, meaning what the Lord is inclined, he's he's more uh, uh willing to do it, he wants to do it, he wants to what, bro? He said, In inclining unto what, inclined or inclined or willing to make another suffer, to make another suffer. Okay? The Lord is wants to make two thirds of our people suffer. That's why I said in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, I believe it's uh, uh, verse uh, uh, 12, where it says what? That the Lord is going to make them, uh, 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 they're going to die, right? But they're going to know that they should have hearkened unto them after death by pain. Okay? You know, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay? So it's going to be not only a death, but a very painful, excruciating, suffering death. Okay? All right? He said, Exposed to inflict suffering mm -hmm. mentally or physically or any sentient being. All right, like on any living being, man. All right, and Lord's gonna be <laughs> doing our people live, man. Okay, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Lord is really about to do a number on you, man. All right, for not hearkening and turning back to the Lord, man. Okay, you know, he said what? He said, willingly causing suffering and pain, whether it be mentally or physically, and Lord's gonna hit every aspect of our people. Mentally, spiritually, and physically, man. Okay? You know? Why? Because they don't got the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, man. Matter of fact, you get the Isaiah um, 33. Yeah, 33. Yeah. Uh, you can hold the uh, 13 and go to, you know, 33. You know? Because what? They don't have the wisdom and knowledge. The Lord's going to give them mental suffering and pain. But if you have these scriptures, which is the elect, you have the wisdom and knowledge of the Lord, you have the fear of the Lord, all right? You're going to be all right, man. Okay? You read that? Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Uh -huh. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So wisdom, which is the fear of the Lord, okay, and knowledge, with knowledge of the almighty Yahweh by Shema, Shai, these scriptures, all right, knowing his name, all right, so the fear of the Lord, which is wisdom, and the knowledge of these scriptures shall be the stability, when you look at the word in Hebrew, it's Amawan, the faith, all right? The wisdom of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, and the knowledge of these scriptures is going to be your faith in that time, man. All right, this is why brother said, get this word while you can to build up your faith in the Lord, man. All right, it's going to be your faith in these times. Keep on reading. And it says, in strength of salvation. In strength of salvation. Because what? In that time, if you trust in the Lord, you're going to call upon his name. That's going to be your strength. Okay? Keep on reading. It says, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. The fear of the Lord, the fear of Yahweh by Shema Oshai, is his treasure. All right, where he holds closest to him, the fear of the Lord, man. Right? But our people don't fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's why they're going to be destroyed. 
the Lord's going to come cruel to them because they don't have no fear of him. So either way, you're going to feel the Lord willingly, all right, or uh, 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 or unwillingly, man, okay? You know, you're going to fear the Lord uh, right now or you're going to fear the Lord later when it's too late, man, okay? But you will fear you how about Shemal Shai. You know, I know the brother Watt always says that, you know? You will end up fearing the God of the Bible, so right now you should fear him willingly before it's too late, man, okay? Uh, <clears throat> Isaiah 13 and 9. Uh-huh. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, mm-hmm. to lay the land desolate. To lay this whole place in America desolate, man. Okay? All right, with them, especially with them ICM nuclear missiles, man. That's the icing on the cake with the laser beams of the chariots, what the people call UFOs, man. Okay? The brother's been seeing them, man. Okay? The brother's been seeing them at an all time high, man. You know? All right? You know? And guess what? Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to lay this whole land desolate, man. All right, and so the last part of it, and he shall destroy the sinners that are out of it. The sinners mean what? The sinners of our people, man. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, those that willfully sin against the God of the Bible, man. The Lord is actually going to take you, okay, and destroy you in this land, man. Okay? You know? He's not going to deliver you. Meanwhile, the elect of the nation of Israel who have the wisdom and knowledge is going to be stable in these last days. What? This is going to be this uh, string of their salvation is in the scriptures, man. Okay? And the fear of the Lord is what's going to have them saved, man, because the mercy of Yahweh Shai is going to be showed upon them that fear him, man. Okay? Yeah, uh, pastors always say that the Lord hates to say nothing to sin earth, but this is something that, uh, <clears throat> what's the name? The butter's there. That's right. This is uh, <laughs> Second Edges chapter 15, verse 24. That's right. Woe unto them that sin. Woe unto them that sin. Now, of course, we all go off, okay? But it's talking about those that willfully sin against the Lord. All right, that's one that says, you know, um, Lord, I know, like Goosey said, yeah, I know you tell me not to eat pork, but I don't care what the damn would you say. That man or men with that men, the mentality, man, woman, and child with that mentality that they don't care what the Lord said, this is who it's talking about. So read from the top one. This is Second Edges 15 and 24. Uh-huh. Woe unto them that sin. And keep not my commandments, and keep, say of Yahweh. And keep not my commandments, say of the Lord, man. Woe is who is death and destruction unto you. Okay? You know, you don't want to listen to what the Lord told you to do? Okay, cool. Death is coming your way. You want to read it? I will not spare them. Uh-huh. Go your way, you children, from the power. Uh-huh. Defile not my sanctuary. That's right, man. The Lord said he's not going to spare you in these last days, man. You know? And we want to be spared, man. That's why, and because our people, what? That time of trouble, they're going to be tempted, and right? they're, they're not going to fear the Yahweh by Shai, and they're going to give in to the temptation of taking Maxine and the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, man. Okay? All right? So guess what? The Lord is not going to spare them in the time, you know, time of trouble, man. All right? He says, verse 26, for Yahweh knoweth all them that sin against him. See, the Lord knows all those that sin against him willfully, man. Okay? He knows every single one of you by name. Just like he knows his elect by name. You know? It says, um, <clears throat> and therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. See, the Lord's going to deliver you, or right, hand you over unto death and destruction. Can you look at the word deliver real fast, bro? Okay. Um, so, you know. Hey, because the Lord is what? Yahweh by Shema Shai, the word he calls God in Jesus Christ, is going to deliver you, give you over, give you over, you know? But we're going to look up that word deliver, man. He says he's going to deliver you unto death and destruction, man. You know? Showing you that what you can't um, escape the, the hands of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, the power of the Lord, man. Especially if you go, if you are uh, willfully sin, all right. Meaning what you you being a wicked ass nigga in America, man. This is a uh, deliver verb. It says yeah. verb to take and hand over to. Uh-huh. So the Lord's gonna take you and hand you over to death and destruction. Hey, death is a spirit, man. Okay, that's a spirit, man. So he's going to hand you over to the spirit of death, man. Or leave for another. Huh? And leave for another, man. You're going to be out for the taking, man. Okay? You know? That's what the Lord's going to do. He's going to deliver you, leave you out for the taking for another, man. And that another is death, the death and destruction, man. That's what the Lord's going to do, man. He's going to deliver you, hand you over, leave you for the taking. Okay? You know, if you don't want to, if you want to willfully sin against them. What up, bro? Verse 27. My favorite. 
for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. The plagues, when you look up the word plague, the entomology, it goes to affliction, calamity, you know, uh, uh, severe trouble. The plagues that come upon the whole earth, man. All right? And we're in the beginning of stages of those, okay? Can you read? And you shall remain in them. So the Lord is going to not only have them on the earth, but you're going to remain in them. You're going to stare boil in them, you know? Like a, like you boil a little frog or something. By the time the frog realizes it's, it's, you know, it's boiling, it's too late. <laughs> this stuff, you know? That's just going to be you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. When, as soon as you realize that you that you need to hearken unto the Lord, it's going to be too late, okay? For the Most High shall not deliver you. Uh-huh. Because he has sinned against him. And it goes back to Jeremiah 11 and 11, like we read earlier. When the Lord is going to bring all this hell upon you, when you cry upon him, he's not going to hear you. So it just said that there, like what? When what? When you try to call upon the Lord, he's going to leave you in that death and destruction, all right? And he's not going to deliver you out of it because you sinned against him, you know? Showing you that what? Hey, that's, that's more, uh, reading that scripture right there, there's more uh, fire for us to repent, man, okay? Because we don't want to be a part of that club. Yeah, people that. Uh, can you get a, um, you get back Isaiah 13? Yeah, okay, so read that one. It's Isaiah 13 and 11. I will punish the world for their evil. Uh-huh. And the wicked for their iniquity. For their iniquity, man. Our people, that's a top of our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The only ones that can sin according to the scriptures, man. Which is breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Getting shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, getting uh, tattoos, getting uh, shave-ups, lineups, being a whore, being a thot, being a thug, being a murderer. Okay, being an uh, adulterer, okay, you know, a man sleeping with another man's woman, all right, or a woman stepping out on her husband, okay, you know, these are all things that our people willfully do, man, even though we tell them not to, okay, you know, according to the scripture. Yeah, and it says, um, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to see. See, a lot of our people, no, I say that all of the two thirds are proud, man, okay, in some shape or form, they're proud, man, the Lord is going to destroy them, man. He's going to, he's just going to destroy them, man, especially the leaders of the two-thirds, man, and he's going to destroy them, man, all right? Take them out, because their pride, they, they departed away from their maker, man, okay, you know? And we'll lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, you know, the haughtiness of the terrible, another word for proud, man, arrogancy, just being arrogant, you know? And right now, what, the women, man, they, fool, man. Hey man, you hear this word and you're a woman, man. You better, you better get right with the God of the Bible, man. And you know, it's, you know, if you got a husband, you better serve him. If you don't, you better praise the Lord for a man, of the Lord, man. Because in these days, the Lord, mind you, what? There's more women in Israel than men. Okay, so most of the most of the women in Israel is gonna die a horrible, gruesome death. Man. Okay, and the Lord is not playing, man. He don't care if you're a woman, man. He's gonna destroy you. Okay. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse seven. Pride is hateful before the Most High and men. Pride is hateful before the Most High and men. Men don't even like prideful niggas, man. So how, how much more the God of the Bible, man? All right, the one that created everything. What do you have? What are you proud about? You can die from a, a paper cut. What are, What are you proud about? You know, especially these women, man. What are you proud about? You got like 30, 30 bodies, man. I was watching one video. This woman was bragging that she had uh, eighty eight bodies before eighteen years old. What? Bragging about it, like yo, and want and want to go back to that lifestyle, man. You know, don't want to be cuffed up no more. She want to go back to it, man. The Lord's gonna destroy people like that, man. All right, brother just did a video where a woman said a man that uh, has a, a stable job and is good and don't do no basically no wickedness, uh, it turns her off. Ill, ill, get away from me. Keep that same energy when the when this time comes, man. Keep that same energy, man. The Lord's gonna lay down all the powerful and the haughty, man. Okay. So Rock 10 and 7. Pride mm -hmm. is hateful before the most high and man. That's right. And it's like and by both those one commit iniquity. That's right. You know, you commit iniquity because what you thinking that, you know, uh you, you know, basically you're uh, uh saying nobody's ruling over you, you can do what you want to do. And that's a pride, man. You don't serve no one, that's pride, man. All right. Ultimately what we said, everyone has a slave master, man. All right. And ultimately, our slave master is Yahweh by Shema Shai, man, but he's a righteous man, okay? You know? Jump it down to verse 12. That's right. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High. Yeah, the beginning of pride, where it all starts. You know, man becomes prideful when he departs from Yahweh by Shema Shai. That's where it all starts from, man, okay? You know? <clears throat> the 
it says, and his heart is turned away from his maker. And his heart is mine. It's turned away from his maker. Right? That's where pride kicks in. And the scripture said, well, pride is hateful amongst the most high in men. How about Shema Shai and, and just regular men? All right, but remember the scripture will also say that what? On the flip side, that what? You're beloved of Yahweh by Shema Shai when you, what, your delight, your meditation is upon the Lord day and night. All right? That's because that's a man whose heart is on the Lord 24 7. You know? Well, you're beloved, you're favored by the Lord. You're blessed if, you, if you're doing that. But the Lord hates you when the pride kicks in and you depart from your Maker and your mind is turning away from you. How about you? Know, Shai, you want to read it? It says. Verse 13, for pride is the beginning of sin. That's right. And he that have it shall pour out abomination. He that have it shall pour out abomination, man. You know? And he, our, our people, they, they do some wicked stuff. I was like, 88 bodies before age 18? I was like, yo, that's that's madness, man. Like, I, that, I, can't, I can't even fathom that. Like, I was like, yo, that's, like, you know, you hear a woman say, oh, I had, like, six bodies. That's even, like, damn, six, you know? But 88, before the age 18, you're, like, 20-something? Or almost 30? Bro, that's... That's a lot of experience. <laughs> oh, bro, that's madness, man. You know, but guess what? If you have pride, you're going to pour out these abominations, man. You know, you're going to pour... You're going to do some crazy, wicked things if you have pride, man. You know? But the Lord's going to bring what them strange calamities upon you, man. You know, strange death and destruction, man. And therefore... Yeah, how it brought upon them strange calamities, strange deaths, strange situations, things that, like, yo, how did I get in this mess? Because you were prideful, and the Lord put you in that mess, man. Okay? You know? And overthrew them utterly. And overthrew them utterly, completely, man. The Lord took you out, you know? Whether it may be a, a, a disease, you know, uh, you getting uh, uh, in a car, bad car accident, you know? You know, there's a lot of things someone can, a lot of ways someone can die, man, okay? Because the TV show, A Thousand Ways to Die, with the Lord, is infinite ways to die, man. The Lord can really do numbers on you, man. All right, he's going to do those unto the prideful, man, okay? You know? Like, uh, you get a, um, um, uh, Ezekiel 9, and, uh, you know, verse 4, you know? Because the Lord, in these times, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, who the you call God in Jesus Christ, all right, he's going to what? Protect those that sigh and cry for the abominations, but then he's going to destroy the prideful who don't want to turn back and love it here in this place, in America, and love just love the beast system, man. Okay, you know, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, you know, Ezekiel chapter nine verse four. That's right. And Yahweh said unto him, mm -hmm. Go through the midst of the city, all right, through the midst of Jerusalem and the cities of people before the place. Jerusalem's thought by you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and Israelite foreigners, okay, got to put them in there too, all right, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and they cry. And this mark is different from the mark of the beast. This is the mark from exemption from judgment. See, there's going to be two marks placed out here, all right, the mark of exemption from judgment, all right, which is spiritual, you know, all right, and then the physical mark of the beast, man, all right, which is Esau's mark, man. So you have the mark of the Lord and the mark of Esau, man. And you want the mark of the Lord because then what, you're exempt from judgment, man. Okay? But if you got the mark of Esau, Edom, so-called white man, the mark of the beast, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. They hate everything that they see in this place in America. The same thing, same way Lot was feeling inside of Gomorrah, they had that same disdain for this place, man. Okay? All the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And abomination is a wicked, detestable, filthy act. Okay? You know? And to the others, he said in my hearing. Now, to the others, those that, that didn't, bro. Those that didn't, bro. Those that weren't signed and crying, that loved this place, that was doing all, you know, the party bullshit, that didn't want to get out of this place in America. What's going to happen to them, bro? He said, go ye, I mean, go ye after him through the city. And it's talking about the death angels. First angels were the angels for protection, all right? The angels that camp around them that fear him, all right, and deliver of them. That's that was the angels that did we just read about that, you know, marking the men who sigh and cry. They got that exemption from judgment. Now let's talk to the death angels. What's gonna happen, bro? What are they gonna do? It says <clears throat> It says, Go ye after go ye after him to the city. Uh -huh. 
-huh. and smite and smite which means to kill smite means to kill okay and not just any kill but like slaughter a, a, a violent death okay let not your eyes spare uh-huh what me we read that earlier what the lord's not gonna have no pity all right he's not gonna spare no no one all right especially the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, he's not gonna spare you all right can you read he's the heavy pity uh-huh it's like utterly old and young completely because all the two-thirds they go die over here in america man every single one of the two-thirds they're gonna die here in america okay so slay utterly completely the two-thirds both maids and little children and it's women it's just old and young huh? yeah it's just, uh, slay utterly verse six slay utterly old and young old and young okay from the newborn all the way down to the oldest two-thirds okay both maids and little children, young women, like in the adolescent teens area, it says in little children, you know, little day day running across the street and all that, okay, and women, and women, and women, and women. He, he named them twice, not not just the old women, all right, but the middle aged women, and the young women, the maids, man. The Lord said, kill them all, destroy them, okay, because you know, why they don't sigh and cry, they love it here. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, the exemption from judgment, the mark of the Lord, man. Okay. Which we want. We want the mark of the Lord. Okay. The exemption from judgment. Okay. And begin in my sanctuary. And begin in my sanctuary. Those, those that what? That know that they're Israelites, man. You know you're Israelite and you still not getting right with the Lord. The Lord will do something to you. And that's going to be a horrible judgment, man. A horrible, horrible judgment. Man. More strength. Hey, more strength. Yeah, but, hey, brother said more strength, man. Cause you knew better all right and if you know better you got to do better you know but since you didn't want to you go get that uh so-called ass whooping even more you know then they began at the ancient men which were before the house then they began at the ancient men which were before the house man okay so the lord is gonna start those that know that there is license and then the leaders he said the ancient men so the list gonna start the leaders of these people man okay you know and the lord is really gonna uh, do a number on them man okay you know, can we get a, uh, what's going on? That's how you do it. Yeah, I believe it's, uh, it might be either you know, Isaiah 65, there we go, Isaiah 65 and 12, there we go, that's it. Because in the time that we're coming into, man, the Lord said that he was going to destroy two-thirds, but at the flip side, the Lord said he was going to have his, uh, his elects back, man, okay? That's why we don't got to worry about anything. We don't. If you feel your how about Shema child, hope for good, you know, and everlasting joy, man. The scriptures reassures that each time, man. okay? Isaiah 65 and 12. Mm -hmm. Therefore will I number you to the sword. Let's talk about two-thirds of our people. The one that was, was later to be smited, to be slayed. This is what the Lord's going to do unto you. Mm -hmm. And you shall all bow down to the slaughter. He said, Lord said he numbered you to a certain death or destruction. He said, you all go bow down to slaughter. When you bow down to something, that means you're under subjection to it, you know? So whatever the Lord puts you to, that's what you're going to die by, you know? Or that's what you're going to live by, you know? Because when I called, you did not answer. Now, when the Lord called, when the brothers is out here doing the videos on the YouTube, you didn't want to listen, man. You just walked by, you closed your ears, put your headphones on, you changed into another channel, all right? Mm -hmm. It says, when I spake, you did not hear. When the Lord spake, when Yahweh Bashimah Shah spake through his men, the prophets, the servants, you did not hear. Okay? When the scriptures say what? Believe the prophets of his prophets, and ye shall prosper. Okay? <laughs> you know, you didn't want to listen to, to, the, to the men of the Lord, so you're not going to prosper. Right? Right? But did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Yeah, but you did evil before the Lord's eyes. Even though you had men of the Lord to tell you to do the good things, you did the opposite. All right? You did evil before the Lord's eyes, and the Lord's going to now judge you for these things. Right? Okay? You know? It says, um, Therefore thus saith Yahweh power, uh -huh. Behold, my servant shall eat. He said, My servants, those that do my will, that love to do what I told them to do, they going to eat. They going to be good. Okay? So what's going to happen, bro? You shall be hungry. You will be hungry as hell. Starving. Looking like a shrivelled uh, up raisin. <laughs> it's about to be bad out here for you. 
if you don't want to turn back, you know? It says, Behold, my servant shall drink. My servant's going to drink clean water and whatever else the Lord has. The Lord's going to go all out for his servants. The Lord always going all out for his men, okay? Those that believed in him, okay? You know? But you should be thirsty. But you should be thirsty. You ain't going to get none of this uh, beautiful H2O. <laughs> stuff, man. You're going to be thirsty, dried up, through. Oh, why? Because you don't want to turn back to the guy of the Bible, man. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy. I mean, so lucky. Behold, my servant shall rejoice. Uh huh. And but you, it's lucky. But you shall be ashamed. You shall be ashamed. You'll be confounded. You're gonna be embarrassed, man, that you didn't want hearken into the words of the Lord, man. The Lord's about to give them the like greatest. I told you so. The embarrassment. All that is gonna happen, man, amongst the two thirds of our people, man, because they gonna be like, you know, I heard these words, but now I can't get out of the situation. When it's too late, you know. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. Uh huh. When you shall cry for sorrow of heart. That's right. And shall howl for vexation of spirit. And, and that's the spirit, man. The Lord is gonna do that. He's gonna have his servant service when all hell breaks loose. Yeah, we're going to be a little bit scared because things happen around us like crazy. But guess what? We'll be praising the Lord because we've been waiting for this, man. The Lord you know, went through with his promise like he like He said he would. And we knew it. We believed it. And we knew that he was going to do so, man. So we're going to be, the Lord's going to be part of that. We're going to be happy in it. And the kingdom is over here, almost here, baby. You know, let's go. You know, let's go, champ. Let's do what we got to do. You know? But you will be sorrowful, man. All right? You're going to be in vexation, man. All right? You got to read that, bro. Psalms 1 and 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, man. He's not walking in the vice of this world, man. You know? Nor standeth in the counsel. It's lucky. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. Uh -huh. He don't conduct himself in the, in the same manner as these wicked people. All right? Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. All right? He doesn't scoff. He doesn't backbite. He doesn't, you know, be a, a niggard, man. All right? Can you read? What is the light? Is in the law of Yahweh. And it, what, he's blessed because his delight, his pleasure is in the laws of Yahweh, which is this whole, this whole book, man. You know? And in his law, though, he meditate day and night. And this book right here, the Bible, do he meditate day and night. This is in our minds 24-7, man. You know? Even when we're doing our little hobbies, there's a thought of the scriptures, man. You know? And Lord's will that we be a part of elect that, you know, the Lord, you know, has mercy upon us that because we, we fear him, man. Or we want to make it out of this place, America, man. Okay, we don't want to die, man. Here, you know, we don't want to die, period, man. Okay, you know. But if you know, we got you know, some of us gotta be Mars and you know, hey, fuck it, you know, for better lack for lack of words. But guess what? I'd rather die for the Lord than die because of wickedness, man. You know, you know uh, can you uh, get um, uh, you know, Luke uh, 30, and, yeah, Luke 21 and 36. And We'll get, you know, like we always do with like the pause that we get from the you know. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. He said, Watch ye therefore, and this is what yeah, how was shy to you. All right, the one that's coming to do all the, the destruction. All right, the one that's sanctioning everything. Okay, you know, he said, Read it from the top, bro. Luke 21 and 36. Mm -hmm. Watch ye therefore. Watch ye therefore. So we're watching the prophecies. We're seeing what's going on on earth. We know that the Lord is close, man. Okay? Because everything that he said that was going to happen is happening. Man. Wars, rumors of wars, race price, sedition among men. You know, uh, 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 this devil coming down with great wrath, coming in like a flood, man. All right? Him doing wicked, uh, 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 performing wicked uh, thoughts, man. Okay? Everything that the Lord said this devil was going to do, he's doing, man. So we believe and trust in the Lord, man. All right? So we're watching therefore. What, bro? Pray always. And praying always, man. Okay? Always sending up prayers. Brothers' prayers are being answered, man. All right? Quickly, too. Not just, you know, okay, you know, Lord, you know, I'll pray this and then we sit back and it might be. No, the Lord's answering prayers in hours. Within hours, man. The Lord is answering prayers, man. You know? And it's about to be within seconds soon, man. You pray something, the Lord's going to answer in seconds, man. You know? So, hey, man, we're coming to that time, man. So, watch you there for and pray always for it, bro. That you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. They escape all these things. Because remember, two-thirds are not going to be found worthy to escape the death and destruction. Man. Okay? 
All right, the Lord is going to bring the evil upon them that they shall not be able to escape. We want to be found worthy, all right, have that spiritual credit, so to, so to speak, because that's what worthy goes into, your spiritual credit, you know? We want that bank account to be full enough to where like, oh, you can get in. You can, you, 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 you can get in, man, okay? You know? So you may be kind of worthy to escape all these things. The things the Lord's about to bring is nothing but death and destruction, all right? All right, but on the flip side, it's going to be salvation for the elect. That ye be accounted worthy to escape all these things mm -hmm. that shall come to pass. That's right. And to stand before the Son of Man. All these things that come to pass, we be found worthy to escape them. Okay? You know? And to stand before the Son of Man, you know? In front of Lord Yahweh Shai and know that what? You did everything that you did to please the Lord, man. Okay? <laughs> you know? You want to be able to, you know, Lord, I did everything you told me to do. You know? Have that faith that the Lord, you know, the Lord, the Lord is going to accept you, man. The Lord is going to be a part of the elect, man. All right, that's what we tell our people to repent and turn back into Yahweh by Shema side, man. Change your life according to the Bible. Watch the videos, read, you know, repent, pray always, man. Let the Lord have mercy upon you in these days, man. Right? So, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So, wrapping up everything hearing about the death and destruction, hearing about the salvation, okay, you know, that's only for the elected things in Israel, you know, hearing about all these things, all right, what shall you do, you know, uh, of those that are listening to so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners? Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, fear the Lord, which is wisdom, which wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our, that times, the faith, okay, and strength of salvation, fear the Lord is his treasure, all right? And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Scripture said what? The Lord is a guide to them that keep his commandments. Matter of fact, real fast, bro, hold that. I'm going to grab that real fast. You know? Peace of the problem. Peace of you know? I just read the time, too, bro. It's through the Spirit, man. Lord's will, man. Okay? You know, get this. This is 2nd Ezra. Uh, 16 and... 70, I believe it's 74. It's not, it's 70, uh, I'm going to start at 70, yeah, 74, this script. It says, Here, O ye my beloved, thus saith Yahweh by Shemel Shai, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, the time that we're brothers were talking, just talking about. Okay? It says, But I will deliver you from the same, those that fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai, trust in him and call upon his holy name. Okay? Fear the Lord, all right, keep his commandments, man. All right, it says, but be not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is your guide. It says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Right, so what? Fear your how about you shine and keep his commandments and the Lord will be your guide, man. So fear the Lord, all right? That wisdom, all right, is going to be your uh, wisdom and knowledge, salvation, the strength of salvation and your, and your treasure, okay? And it says keep the commandments and the Lord says he's a guide to them that keep his commandments and precepts, man, all right? If you do all these things, bro, you know, the Lord is going to, you're not going to fail, man, all right? Read the last part of that book. It says, um, Ecclesiastes 12 and uh, 13. Let's do the conclusion of the whole matter. That's right. Fear Yahweh by Shai. That's right. And keep his commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the whole duty of man. This is your whole duty, your requirement as an Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American man, woman, and child. All right. So if you want to be shown mercy in these last days, you will do these things. Fear Yahweh by Shai and keep his commandments to the best of your ability. Okay. You know, so hopefully this is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, keep on believing. Keep the faith. If this is your first time hearing it, man, get right with your how about you shy. Pray, repent always, you know, and then change your life, man. The Lord may have mercy upon you, man. All right? This is so hopefully this is edifying to the elect of nation Israel. We will close out, like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father, his only begotten Son. Yeah, how Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash. Double honest to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who grew well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of the earth pushing his word. Righteousness and sincerity to the elected nation of Israel. Until next time, we say shalom. shalom.